six or double treble or rather grand chelem Eduardo Piscopo is back the hammer as ever stronger than ever the bishop of team Ginzani has literally dominated Adria weekend in the Italian Formula 3 penultimate round with a perfect races and a bit of suspense race to fastest lap in the final lap that means an exciting finish and weekend first in free practice and qualifying session all men on both starting grids and especially lone winner and the checker flag in all races Biscopo is still in the battle and is now 8 points behind the leader but Bortolotti, the current leader are paired consistent as ever with the second and third place that limit the damage and return the crucial last round of Vallelunga which will decide the new Italian champion and now the tight rival in the title fight first in the last round of Vallelunga scheduled in the weekend of 18th and 19th of October for the Italian title at their secret and scenerize even the French star Tom Dillman that, as expected, demonstrated speed reputation by sizing two podiums divided equally to Bortolotti at our microphones in sequence, the three big players in Polesine. Yeah, great job today. I want to thank my team for a great uh, car I had. It was perfect since qualifying. We worked a lot to achieve what we, what we, what we did. 24 points is the uh, best results we could do here in Adria. Therefore, now we aim for Vallelunga. We are only 8 points behind. It's, it's hard, it's tough because we had no luck since the beginning of the year. But uh, we look forward to make it and uh, we are really, we're really strong at the moment. Well, I can tell you, A1GP is a great car, it's, uh, you, you're going to really enjoy the racing, but uh, I, I, want to, uh, I want to wait to, to make my first race, as I want to focus on my F3 at the moment. I have a Lunga the 18th, then after that I can focus on, uh, on China, which is the 9th of November, and also Sepang, end of the year. So first uh, F3, I want to take the title home, and then uh, hopefully A1GP. Yeah, I had a great race uh, with a great start and uh, at the beginning I was uh, very fast and, uh, but Pisco was uh, brave to close the, the line and so uh, I tried to stay behind him and try to make the fastest lap but uh, then at the center of the race I had a little bit problems with my tires and so I'm very happy about this second position and I hope to continue like this uh, at Vallelunga. Yeah, compared to yesterday it was not... Uh not a good start, so I was third after the first corner, and then uh, I tried to I tried to overtake uh, Bortolotti, but it's very difficult here. So uh, I think we were all very fast. We were lap after lap, uh, fastest lap, Piscopo, me, and Bortolotti. But uh, yeah, it's very difficult to overtake.